hey guys what's up and welcome back to my channel if you guys are new here make sure you guys hit subscribe if you guys are digging the vibe so today's video is going to be me teaching you guys how to use your only fans this video has been very highly requested by a lot of my feet babes um i just haven't got around to filming it because I didn't initially know how to film it, how to explain things to you, and I still kind of don't, but I'm gonna try to, to the best of my ability for you, because I know a lot of you are searching and looking for more understanding on how OnlyFans works and all the questions that you possibly may have. OnlyFans isn't the easiest thing to start, um, I mean, it's easy, but it takes a lot of practice for you to understand like what buttons do what and you know what not and I'm still kind of new to it, but I wanted to teach you guys the basics of OnlyFans so that way you guys can get started right away with whatever you guys decide you are going to sell on OnlyFans. So with that being said, I'm going to get right into the video and I hope you guys enjoy. Okay guys, now that we are on my OnlyFans account, I do want to show you guys a few things that you guys are going to need to know when using your OnlyFans. I'm going to keep it super basic, straight to the basics, like the things you are going to use, the things you are going to need when starting your OnlyFans and you're a beginner at this. There are not many things that I use. There are a lot of things that I have come across, but these are gonna be the things that are the most important when you use your OnlyFans and you're just beginning. So, you guys can see me in that little mirror. How cool! <laughs> Anyways, so I do wanna show you guys how to upload a photo. That's gonna be number one, of course, obviously. So that's gonna be this little button right here that says add media. When you click it, it's gonna pop up all of your files that you have on your computer. Obviously, I have like thumbnails and stuff. I don't really have any feed content in my um, laptop just because I usually delete them once they're posted. So there's that. There's going to be a button next to it and it's going to say add media from Bolt when you hover over the button. I don't really touch that. I don't really use it and I'm not going to go over that because it's not something that's necessarily you need to be using. So we're just going to skip that. And then we have a record voice. So record voice is you know obviously self-explanatory hello duh like let's get it together here you know but um yeah so pretty much um you're gonna push this little th you're gonna push the three little dots and that says more and it's gonna show you a lot more options now this is where we're gonna have a little bit of fun with what we're gonna do so when you're using only fans you can do polls for your subscribers let's say you don't know what content they want to see or what content you want to put out so you're going to give them the option to vote on what they want to see so on here you'll just click it and then you'll be like kissing toes or licking toes so you'll just give them the option i don't do either so yeah nobody i'm not knocking anybody that does though so yeah but i don't so i'm just gonna give them two options and then you're gonna be, be like which one do you do you like best and you can just interact with them you know and i'm just gonna post that just because i haven't posted anyways so it's gonna pop up on your feed and then we're gonna go back we're gonna go to more again and then you're gonna see this little expiration um button i don't it's like a little what are those things called Ugh, i don't remember what they're called but they're like the little clocks that have the sand in them you guys know what i'm talking about i obviously don't but anyways you're gonna click that and then it's gonna tell you expiration date so what you're gonna do on this is this is gonna be like you're gonna upload a photo but you're not gonna want this photo to stay on them forever so it's gonna eventually like disappear after the time that you set it for so i'm not gonna put a photo but i'm just gonna i guess i could it doesn't really matter so for one day three three days 
7 days, 30 days are no limit. So I'm just going to say 1 day, push save. And then for that, you're going to keep that there. You're going to see it at the top right here. We'll post will expire in 1 days. And then I'm just going to be like, who wants a a custom video and then in a in like one day it'll expire so it will go away in one day which is pretty cool um excuse my family in the background anyways next thing you're gonna do is there's a schedule post and what i like the most about this is that if you're out of town or if you're going on vacation or you're just super busy you can schedule your posts without having to log into your OnlyFans account and post on there. So with that, you're gonna upload your photo. Um, and with that, you're gonna click it and then it's gonna ask you to choose what day. So let's just say the 16th, right? Which, well, today's the 16th, so I'm gonna say the 17th and then I'm gonna push next. And then you're gonna pick the time in which you want your photo to be posted. Um, I would just say like maybe 12 noon, so that way it's in the middle of the day whoop de whoop and then you can pick am or pm i'm going to pick obviously pm save it and then it's going to say up here scheduled for 12 tomorrow and then this is when you're going to upload your content and yeah i don't have any content on my computer so i can't show you that okay so this is another cool uh, feature you can basically have your customers tip you so for me um sometimes i'll go on here if i want to make like an extra fifty dollars just from tips for having nice feet obviously um i'll put like maybe my goal is fifty dollars and then with that you'll push save down below it's gonna say how many options you can have um the first one is gonna be five dollars you can add ten dollars you can add 25 and you know just depending on whatever your clients choose they'll be able to click the button and automatically pay you that amount and it's really cool so you'll have a target um goal for whatever you're trying to raise and your subscribers can pay you for it which is really cool um it's the more popular you are the more likely you are going to get paid with that little service but it's really cool so then another thing i want to show you guys going into um you know your settings um so this is obviously my account right now i only have two fans i my fans fluctuates from you know one to ten just right now um depending on how consistent you are with your feet like i always post content so there's a tons of content on here if you guys want to just ever be a, become a subscriber and you know look at all the feed pictures and feed content that i have posted it will be there for you guys to review i post tons of pictures i haven't really been posting videos but i am going to start i promise you anyway so on the little sidebar when you click this little um i guess you can say profile icon i don't know what you would call it um it's gonna show you like all these settings you're gonna go into my profile and the my profile um it's going to take you to your profile so when someone clicks on your link this is pretty much what they're going to see um down here you will have your you know your bio and then promotional campaigns bundles and whatnot i obviously have a bundle deal going on right here for 20 percent off for six months you get a six months trial of all of my feed content and whatever and then you'll obviously see like some of my little content down below um yeah, so if you go right here into the edit profile button, it will take you into all the fun stuff that you're going to need to do when you start. So up here, you're going to upload your cover image, which will be this image right here. And then down here, obviously upload your profile photo for your OnlyFans. Um, my content is feet, so everything is going to be feet related down here your name your um at name and then right here your subscription price my price is 35 dollars just because i do sell um, my feet prices are a little higher than normal so getting a lot of feet content for the month for 35 dollars is a deal i promise you and then down here you'll be able to add your your bundle deal so obviously i have 20 percent off and if i click it i'll be able to do like all these discounts right here and it just depends on how long you want to do three or 12 months um i don't know why i have the, oh i have a six months already so the 
So it's three, six, or 12 months that you'll be able to do a discount at whatever price or whatever. Um, so down here, this is where you're going to put, you know, your information for your bio and whatever. And then you can put your location, your website, and your Amazon wish list. I should put my Amazon wish list. But honestly, I use my boyfriend's Amazon, so I don't really need to use it. But, you know, it would be beneficial to have people, you know, send me gifts or buy me gifts or whatever. Okay, so down here is the account information. Um, I don't really connect any of my accounts to it, so yeah. But this is where you would go if you wanted to like delete your account or see who logs in from where and your password. And then I'm not going to click chats because it's obviously personal, but yeah. And then notifications, that's where you would go if you wanted to see who tipped you, who liked your post, and who became a subscriber. It just shows you like a list of things. And then security... Um, this is just where you would go to edit all of your um, privacy settings and just anything that has to do with, you know, settings and your privacy. And then story. Again, I don't use this, so yeah. But I guess it's for when you post on your story, you can choose nobody or subscribers. And then, yeah, so then if you go down, if you go to the little bar again, you're going to be able to see referrals here is my referral earnings this is how many referrals i have personally and i can see all of the amounts and all of the people all of the amounts they've made and all of the people um that has have signed up with me here's just a few so shout out to you guys if you guys are in this video and you get to see your only fans account and yeah so this is my referral link this is what you would give um other people who wanted to sign up for only fans and this is my referral earnings because you do make a five percent earning off of anyone that uses your referral link so shout out to everyone that has signed up using my referral link and has made money um shout out to you you guys are awesome and this video is for you if you guys are stuck don't know how to use your only fans um, hopefully this video is helpful. All of this stuff I learned on my own and I'm, I'm just helping you guys so that way you don't have to go searching. Um, okay. I don't use bookmarks and I don't use vault and I don't use list. Um, statements I do use. I don't know if I should go. Let me see if I can go on. To, oh, yeah. Okay. So these are all of my statements. I'm going to blur all of this out. But pretty much you can see how much money I've made. I did start in August and whatever. This is how much um, is in my balance, which is pretty much what I'm going to get paid on the next check. But obviously, there's nothing but $0.96. Cents and you have to reach the threshold of at least $20 before you get paid out. But I do have a pending balance of $28. So what that means is someone just subscribed to my channel. I mean, someone just subscribed to my OnlyFans. So the money is pending right now. And once the money is pending, it's going to go from pending balance to primary balance. And when once it's in the primary balance, I can cash out at any time once the money is available for me, which is really cool. So yeah. And then down here, you'll be able to do, I don't click your payout request. So this is everything that has ever been paid out to me and how much I've pretty much made on OnlyFans, which isn't a lot because I kind of stopped doing it. Um, and then here is my earning statistics and analytics on that. And then if you go back to the little profile thing, you can go to promotions. I don't have any promotions. Up here, you'll be able to see who's active on your OnlyFans account as in subscribers. And then who's expired, restricted, blocked, all of them, free trials, and fan stats. And... This right here where it says your cards to subscribe in bank, I'm not going to click those, but just know those are where you would go when you have to add your bank account information. So that way your money goes straight from OnlyFans into your bank account and your cards. I'm not too sure what your cards is. Okay, see, so I don't know what this is. I don't have one, so yeah. I mean, definitely use that. It says, please add a new card to subscribe to your users to recharge your wallet. I'm just going to kind of stay away from that. I'm not going to do any of that. But, yeah. And then down here, it's help and support. You guys can always use that. Like, 
I haven't used it because I try to figure out everything on my own. But if you guys need to, do it. And then this is just to turn the OnlyFans dark. I don't know if you guys like yours bright or if you guys like it dark. Personally, I like OnlyFans white but my youtube account is black um my phone is black as well but i don't know for my laptop i just like everything to be a little bit more brighter but you can always change it and yeah and then down here it's gonna be where you want what language you want your account to be in and then obviously the logout button so remember that this little guy over here is going to be your best friend friend your bff and um you can also add another account so let's say you want to do feet content but then you want to have another one for hand content or you want to do nudes i don't know everyone does things differently you can have accounts for that as well so this is where you would add another account or let's say your friend is over and she wants to log into her account um that's something that you guys would definitely do just remember that this is to upload a photo and that's like the most important thing is uploading a photo this over here is to schedule your post and remember you're always going to look at the top because it's going to pop up on the top and then that's when you upload your photo and then right here that's like an easy target you're gonna set an amount and hope that people tip you um and then polls just to interact with your your subbers and that's all so yeah and then this little bell over here is gonna show you everyone that has you know liked your stuff and then this little button is going to show you all of your notifications pretty much. This button, you can click it if you wanted to upload content. For instance, if I wanted to upload something, it would take me just straight to this page and it will show me everything that I needed to do. Um, you know, I could go live, start a campaign. I'm not too familiar with OnlyFans. I just know the basics, which is why I wanted to teach you guys the basics. And then this little button over here will be my chats. So, yeah. Um, I hope this video was helpful for you guys. I've been wanting to film this video, but I didn't know how to screen record my laptop. But now that I do, it's going to be very fun for me to make these kind of videos for you guys. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you guys in my next one. Make sure you guys comment, like, and subscribe and turn your post notifications on so you can be notified when I post new videos every week because I do. I do. And yeah, I love you guys and I'll see you in my next 